Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays More Time, City of the Damned. As you can see, I spent some money. <laughs> I actually sold a bunch of stuff, uh, just some purple and blue items we couldn't use anyways, like um, claws that can only be used by the Skaven and stuff like that. To get a little extra money so that we can get some skills. So let's go through them real quick. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I my 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 memory is really terrible. I have to be honest. I don't remember if I had the one on Kate before. I think I showed this one at the end of the last episode already, but I don't remember. But I think so. So here we are learning healing circle right now, and I will save the rest, uh, this uh, other spell points for the mastery that should cost four. I assume. Then we have Frauke, who is learning Demoralize as well right now. Um, and I am mastering Strong Blow with Petra. That will make parrying against her very hard. And if I ever get around to mastering Weak Spot, we bypass even more parry chance. So I like the theory behind everything here. But we're almost out of money. Um, we also are getting some shipments in though, so that's not too big of a deal. So there's the first one. We're still waiting for one more though. Um, we need to Market wait for the injuries. There it is. And we have a new market stock. Let's take a look. Oh, what does this shield do? Bravery, plus 20% to fear tests. Not bad, but I'm not sure we do need it. The blue flail could be nice. Aside from that, not too much we are interested in right now. Okay. Um... So either we are switching Keta out for this mission and put um, Cheerwill back in, or we are advancing one more day. I think we can afford to switch these two out. We do need to switch the... Uh, equipment though. Let's see, what could we give her? What do we have in reserve? Okay, no purple stuff, so we should do this. Um, let's downgrade her to blue for the moment. That's actually okay. And we do have a blue shield in reserve. We should put an enchantment on this one though, soon. Yeah, definitely Aegis, I think. Critical hit resistance sounds also pretty useful. We're not using it this time though, but we should just go for the other for the other one. Um, normal helmet should be okay. Some purple heavy armor. Um, let's give her. I will actually buy that blue flail. Yeah, I could just do this from here. I keep forgetting that we can do that. Um, we're not that dependent on casting one with her because of megalomania. And I don't want to give her a two-handed weapon. So we've got the blue shield. And let's go for an enchantment. What's her parry? 77% already. So probably rune of steel is better in this case. The critical resistance. I like that one better. Okay. What else? Okay, that should be it, I think. So, that's what we're taking. Seraphim, Serihilda. We probably want to switch Frauke back in, maybe. Yeah, let's... They're both pretty close, or... I don't know. We might as well leave it as it is, I think. But let's switch Frauke and Vilda. 
um, because Wilder does have Righteous Fury on top of Demoralize, otherwise they're basically identical. And I would like to get uh, Narondia and Ada a little bit more experience. Okay, let's take a look at the missions we have available right now. And tomorrow the next shipment will arrive. I wouldn't mind just a hard one, to be honest. Um, with the with Cheerwell back in and two warriors, two henchmen that are not up to the level standard that the rest is. A brutal one with just good wordstone is not worth it, I think. Exceptional wordstone would be something else, but because it's not there, we're going for the cash here. It's a hard mission, crush their will with good wordstone. That could work out pretty well. As always, I don't like the setup too much, but maybe we can make it work. Or hopefully. So we'll be right back with the deployment. So here we are. We do, of course, need to steal the idol. And we're setting up in the strike teams, apparently. So let's take a look. What are we playing against? We can't see yet, maybe from the name, and that is Nest Reavers. Looks like Skaven to me. So there's one strike team up there, and having to go for strike teams against Skaven is something I really don't like. Um... So we definitely should put our impressive on one group that is closest. They will deploy right here. These are very far away. And there's very little wordstone on the map, which makes me believe that the one that is there is high quality. There's actually just four spots. Um... This is the closest group, so here we will put Abrienda in here. Um, the main group is the furthest one back, but also the one that needs to get there fastest. So I'm actually... Um, putting... Or maybe we can... Yeah, let's put Narondia back in this group. But... Up at the front... Eva, She has her peg leg now. Um, that means we'll put her down this way. Zeri Hilde. We probably can't afford to go for a ranged unit uh, in one of the three strike teams. Uh, Cheerwell should stay in this group, I think. Maybe. Who do we have left? We have a Seraphim. Tunisa. And Frauke. So Frauke and Seraphim can go up here. If we put Cheerwell down this way, that leaves us with Tunisa back here. Or we can put Tunisa down this way and put Cheerwell this way. Not up there. Um, yeah, let's put Cheerwell down in this group. <coughs> With her heavy armor, she will be too slow otherwise. Which is the main reason I want to put Frauke up here. And Seraphim up there as well. So we do have a very strong group up there, I think. Um, it's at least very resilient with uh, two heavy armor wearers. And Seraphim in the back that can just go nuts with the hammers. But they do have their Red Ogre, of course, and that will be right out in the open, probably, so I don't think we can avoid it. 
And most of these will probably cut through here as fast as possible. One might go for this word stone, but I'm not sure about that yet. Let's mark those up regardless. <clears throat> Just so that we can see them easier. Okay, Ada's first turn. She should go straight this way. Because there's the words done already. And that's two clusters. Oh, can I make that without triggering the trap? Nope. I should have gone around. Uh, what does that do? Armor absorption. Nah. Could be worse, but I'm not too happy about it. Stealing their idol might happen, but because they deploy it tightly around their own wagon, I assume it won't. Okay, so what did we get so far out of the warp effects? Um, Spellcasting has increased and nothing. So I think we can afford to go for the fragment. I'm starting to not want to pick up fragments because they're only worth one. But the warp effect might be very bad, and since it's two turns now, uh, it's even worse. Okay, so will they come this turn over over here? I don't know. But I should probably go for a dodge instead of an ambush against the Skaven. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, that's our main group. So, right across somewhere, can we work our way through here somewhere? Um, or do we need to go that way? We need to jump up, of course, okay. You know what, let's, let's go f this way with her, but that's another one of those situations I don't want to be in, so let's go around after all, but this way, that does put us very close to the scavenge point. And we should be able to jump up over there next turn, I hope. Okay. And that's the most scary part, or the scariest part at the moment. They've got three guys, then I have one, then they have three again. And strike teams against Skaven can be really problematic if they rush one of my groups. Uh, I... Don't think they can reach in the first turn, but I don't know. And the question is, where will they go? Probably the here or there. I'm hoping for over here because that group is stronger. Um, but I don't know. So far, we're not seeing anything. <coughs> Eva is down here. We might as well go for the remaining word stone with her. It is just one fragment, but still. Okay, so this is gone. Minus two meter movement range. Really? That makes... Oh, we saw something. We are seeing something, so there is one of those guys down there, and that's really bad. You can't move very far. Let's put her in an... you know what, an ambush really won't help me in this situation. Let's just go for the dodge. The ambush range is so small. The Skaven will charge me first. Okay, so... 
they might come down this way and that's exactly what I don't want so I might want to pull these over that way just to stay away from this group and try to regroup somewhere here in the middle with the rest of the warband I think that's what we should go for but we're once again not seeing a lot of stuff happening right now we're certainly not gaining any more vision. Okay, Ziri Hilde. Um, so, do we want to put her down this way as well now because of what I said? I think we can afford to jump her up this way. That should give us maybe a little bit more vision. Okay, we see something. So there's one over there. And with that group fairly close, we probably won't reach. Okay. Um, different plan. There are here. He might come over this way because of what I did. Let's climb up to give ourselves more high ground. Um, I can't move anymore, so let's overwatch. If they come over this way, she should get a good shot off. Okay, they, they are a bit split up. Let's see, can we... I will try to gain a little bit more vision with her. We only see the one guy. Down here. I really don't want to go for this, though. It's just too scary, because... Yep, yeah, let's not get baited by this. There will be some in buildings and such, and we don't want to deal with that. Let's move over this way as well. Cast one Sigma Smite. That should carry over. So what does Truce do? We don't see it. Did we all resist? I don't know, apparently. <laughs> uh, we do have some movement left, though, so... Yeah, let's just keep this group together and go for a parry stance. Oh, truce probably takes away all your offense points. That sounds like that's what it would do. Okay, there's one guy. And I would like to attack him or rather be attacked by him so that we can pull him out. There it is. Okay, that could work to our advantage. No clusters down there. That's not too bad. We do have two already. Uh, do I want to go for Righteous Fury, though? That is just a henchman guy. But that would put his attacks down to one if we hit. Yep, let's try. Okay, too bad. I'm... After the fact, I'm not sure that... The, the, the skill was the best choice for... For uh, her. I will put it on... Okay, he resisted. Um, it would be better to put on the impressive, I think. Maybe, because her weapon skill is a lot higher, so she should still be able to hit and master the skill to begin with. Okay, that doesn't help, so let's see if we can get into close combat. Okay, and with Abrienda, 
being up next or at last, almost next, we should be able to handle things here. Okay, we do want to go... We are engaged over there now, that's what I'm thinking about. So let's put Tunisia up here as well. We can't actually get up there this turn. Oh, is there an exit here? There is not. Can I make this a little bit more efficient? Probably not, unfortunately. Nope, she's just not fast enough. Next turn, then. With her freckles. <laughs> oh, corrosive miasma. I'm always running into those. Her armor absorption is still very good, so I'm not too worried. And it's also surprising that we don't gain too much more vision. Okay, he's not down, but he's close. And from the way we are positioned, Seraphim should be pretty safe from attacks, and I like that. At least if they, they if they come well they can't come from back there, I think. But I don't know. But that four is four guys going first. Then we have one and then they have three again. So basically seven out of nine from their warband are going before we do anything significant here. That's really a bummer. <laughs> I'm still worried about this group, though. If they pull up this way, what they should do, I think, because we engaged here, that would be very nice, because we could pick up these clusters over there as well. But I'm not sure we can get that. We'll see. And I hope you're not disappointed that I'm going for hard missions at the moment. I Please comment on that. So if you... My reasoning is I do have two slash three uh, warband members that I need to level up here. And so a brutal mission is a risk I am not necessarily want to take and I am only willing to take if the Wordstone reward is good enough. But that means I would like to have exceptional Wordstone on the map. And since that wasn't the case, I went for the one with the good word stone. Um, what do you think about that? Please let me know. I assume this will trigger. No, we get by it. Okay, that's another cluster and some shards, but no enemies in sight. Um... Let's put her in an ambush right on the stairwell. So that in any case they can only come at we uh, at me with one. And I can disengage. We also got an onion formula. Um, once again, no purple ones so far. I don't know if there's a specific condition I need to meet for those to show up. Maybe I need all the blue ones first. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, he gets two attacks, but he goes on the heavy armored ones. Not a big deal. Okay. What else? So, yeah. Please just let me know what you think about my reasoning here, and if you're okay with it, or do you want to see me take on harder missions to make things more interesting? That's an incentive I would be willing to go for as well, of course, but at the moment I like to play it a little bit safer to um, get some, save some money and level up everybody else. Um, things will get very hard soon enough again, I assume. Okay, so we don't have any more vision out of this. Um, her inventory is not full, but she also can't really go anywhere.
do we see that scavenge point? We do not. Do we gain any vision if we go over this way? Okay, yep. They are coming this way. Can I trigger an... Can, yep, there comes the ambush, but I wanted that. If we can overwhelm him this turn, that's something I'm definitely willing to go for. Yeah, yeah, go for your counterattack. And I'm really lucky that they're only wearing daggers so far, or this guy is. Oh, wow. Was that a 95% miss? So things might still be problematic here. Oh, okay, no, he's just hiding under all the word stone. So there's three guys we see here. That's okay. Two of those are henchmen. So our groups are being caught a little bit split up here. But we do have some nice vantage points here. And I can move Serihilde. for some nice damage here. Can I get that shot a little bit better? Apparently not. We can go for one aim though. We could kill that one guy or we could wound this one. Um, I think I'd rather go for the one that has more hit points. Just so that Seraphim can get the knockdown on, on the one guy. I probably. Uh, maybe an Overwatch would have been better in this situation. She's in a bit of a risky spot, but Tunisia will be here to back her up soon. So I think that's fine, actually. There comes one more, and he goes for Zerihilda straight away. Of course. No, he... Why? Where is he going? Is he trying to run around? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's put her here. Nice! 26% chance to crit is not bad, actually, with a buff. It's pretty good. And a 95% dodged chance right now. <laughs> okay, here comes Cheerwell. Um, and I think I will just go for the attacks with her. Or do we want to go for Sigma's Might again? We probably should. It means she gets only one attack instead of four, uh, three. But the buff is really good for the other two. And for herself as well, of course. And she's, once again, she, she just shouldn't cast. She's always getting something rebuked or stuff like that. But still. Okay. Um, we actually don't want to get this one with Frau, because she's already max level. Oh, you... You, you... Mean guy. Let's delay. <laughs> the insult. Okay. He's down. Uh, is there something useful to loot? There is not. So do I want to be greedy and go down for the word stone? The answer is probably not this turn. Let's put her back here and start with some comets. That's one. And 
two. And one more. Kablam. And that got scary real quick. Okay. Um, where are they? That's... Let's recapture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're miss missing three. One of those is the red ogre. He's probably back here still somewhere. I assume he failed his fear check. Let's see. Can we get any more vision? We can. Their caster is back there as well. You know what? I will risk getting caught off guard here. That guy up there is almost dead, and I will pull both Abrienda and Frauke down here to assist. So I will take this risk and go for everything they, that's around here. If I can make it out with as much Wordstone as last mission, I definitely won't be sad about it. Oh, a beneficial warp effect? What did we get? Melee and range resistance? Definitely useful. A negative one. Mm, prevent switch up weapons that we don't care about. So, so far this mission is working really well for us. This is basically the riskiest thing we have done since the mission started. Because she can't even dodge now. Okay, her spell casting is, is um, more expensive. Uh, that might be a problem, but we should be good. Okay, that's one climb. Here's two. And then we need to find that one Skaven that ran away somewhere. Okay, he's right there. Let's ambush, just in case he comes. He should try to attack me, I hope. Looks like he wanted to um, go around back. Okay, nice. I mean, I might as well... I don't know how big the chances are that they have uh, carry blue uh, or purple items, but apparently not very high. Okay, we can put Abrienda out here, right in the open. I think let's put her here and go for the ambush. Or maybe not. Yeah, let's try. There are some obvious risks with the way the potential traps are scattered around that area, but um, we can't really do too much about it, and I still want to close up that side of the the plaza there. A new round has started. Let's see. Does he get it? He did. Okay, unfortunately, but otherwise he would probably be dead. But he's not really getting any hits in, though. I shouldn't speak, <laughs> as is customary. <laughs> oh, he's got sidestep. Wow. We haven't seen that too often. Sidestep or web of steel on the opponent. Oh, we hear him. Oh, no. Here he comes. Oh, crap. What does numbing poison do? Oh, crap. Wow. Does he get one more? Yep. And there it is. One round of attacks and he took her out. Really? So we need to end this as fast as possible. That group did ca get caught off guard after all. That's really, really bad. Okay, he just got himself some open wounds. Warp Lightning? 
That's damage. Okay, he's just blowing himself up right now. A little bit. So this is pretty bad. Okay, Narondia. Get the cluster and one shard. Oh boy. I really don't like the south group now. I should have followed my instincts and not engaged there but moved up. That would have been the right call. Um, and now I regret it, of course. So let's charge this joker. We need to try and put them out of, uh, out of um, action real quick. Just so that the red ogre doesn't run wild down there. That was really unexpected. The crit did it, I think. Um, otherwise he wouldn't have gotten it. But that was a big deal. He just took her out outright. And she also carried the world stone, I think. So that's um, doubly bad. Oh, come on. 62% numbing vapors. Okay. One hit is okay though. And we do have we do still have sidestep and that should slow down that guy. Okay, she needs to move. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's always coming through for us if we need her. It's just amazing what she can do with that rifle. And that stun recovery is deaf. Okay, he charged us before we could charge him. But we should get a counter attack at least. A bad one, though. Apparently. Oh, and a hammer against dodge is not good. Okay, at least he can't reach. That's the AI for you. He got stuck there. But I can't get to that word stone. <laughs> Maybe I can take this guy out. Maybe. So... I could disengage and run away, or I take my chance to take him out. I think I will take the chance here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, what? That triggered. I totally ignored that again. I wanted to loot. I got greedy. Oh boy. That was dumb. That was really dumb of me. Uh, these are down. So we should pile onto this guy. And I should also charge. Okay. Uh, I think we have a decent chance of killing him this turn. What's their morale at right now? 127. Um, we can go for one combat. And then I'll go into close combat. Or we could go for two combats and then go in close combat. I think that's better. Okay. So Abrienda should get the kill. And then we can move her down. At least a little bit. Yep, I assumed as much. As he at least he doesn't have sidestep. But we also missed. <laughs> that 
that's unfortunate. Um, Abrienda. Take him down. Oh, one more. Oh, come on. I mean, it's not like we're very likely to get any more attacks in, but if that hadn't taken him down, things would have gotten more complicated. Okay, there's one more down there. Okay, if you noticed any movement here right now, or a jump, uh, I had to take a phone call, so I had to pause real quick. Um, is that guy an ambush? If he is, we will trigger it regardless, I assume. But let's try to get around it, if he isn't. He will probably still try to attack me. A new round has started. He actually is just going for an ambush right there. Okay. That's one dodge. That we didn't dodge. Let's just hope that he... Oh, come on! Why is that guy critting so much? This is getting tense. Okay, there, down there. We need to trigger that ambush. Probably not the best spot to stand in, though. Uh, just because I really don't like this, because we need to get one more on here, if possible. Let's do this. Costs us one attack, but should still be worth it. We also can't dodge, but uh, that guy doesn't do too much damage, so it's not that big of a deal. And there comes their leader. Oh, come on. I want to get those cl that cluster there. Fear test. Apparently we succeeded. Uh, can I disengage? Yes, I can. So I will. Can I get to the loot? I can't. Um, so do I want to re-engage straight away? Probably. That will force the all alone. And we can't really run anywhere anyways. But at least I'm away from the... From the Red Ogre. That thing really hurts right now. One reload. Um, 5% concealment. Can we get rid of that? Apparently not, so our shots won't be very good. Okay, probably... Yep, aim. Nah, one... another crit? Really? Wow. What does a crit chance look like? 22%. She's definitely hitting above average with those. Oh, come on. He's always succeeding. Oh, the one before was succeeding as well. He's just basically in the same spot. Okay. Uh, we can't take this guy down. Okay, and one more. There it is. And I will, of course, put Abrienda on the Red Ogre. It's a bit scary, but... She's basically in the best spots to to hurt him. Or her, the best equipped and also the most resilient. 
We just need to take out one or two more to put them below routing. I hope we can do that soon. Can't get to the I can't get to the cluster, there's an ambush in the way, so I shouldn't try. Let's just focus on this guy and try to kill him. Okay. Almost down, and then we'll engage as well. Oh, come on. We can't re... We can't... Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we're hitting automatically here. So he's down. That does not put them below. Okay, he's got a shield and a mace and a shield and a dagger. I mean, before I leave them here, it's not a lot of money, but it does add up, and there's nothing else in reach. Maybe that scavenge point, we can run for that. Uh, where is it? Uh, over that way. Probably up here, I assume. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Um, you know what? Her movement should be enough. So let's do this. So he's down. And then we'll attack... The Red Ogre? Oh, crap. That was a mistake. But since I'm already here, I can do one of those. And I can't disengage. Okay, that was a mistake, so the Red Ogre might do something here. That's scary. I hope they will fail their route test, though. Yeah, I wanted to avoid the trap and run right a in there. Round has started. Okay, that's it. We lost two clusters, unfortunately, again. So we only got one cluster, actually. That's a bit disappointing. Well, two. But it could have been four. <laughs> that red ogre really did a number on, on her. One round of attacking, and she's down completely. That was just insane. <laughs> I don't think that has ever happened before. Okay. Yeah, the experience on Cheerwell is a nice side effect, but nothing we're too in worried about. Not a lot of experience on this one though, so but the ones that needed it or needed did get some, I think. Okay. Amnesia is okay. It could be a lot worse. Oh, so close. We've got some stuff to sell again, and also two formulas. Formula of Clerics and Formula of Foresight. And we're going up to 58 Wordstone. Yeah, that could have been a lot higher. Um, she's out for a few days, so we should switch her out. Okay. But aside from that, we're good to go. We need to advance one more day anyways. So let's put Kete back in.
and switch off the items. Um, heavy armor, a normal shield, and whatever. That didn't take. And let's give it back. I could do this off camera, to be honest, but since I'm already doing it, that's the normal shield, so we will rather take the shield of steel. I don't want to spend the money on the other one right now. And I think I will take the flail over the other one right now. So where were the enchantments? Let's take a look. Clerics is here. One, oh, intelligence and accuracy. That doesn't sound too bad to do, but also a little bit expensive right now. And the other ones... Okay, those can't be enchanted. Yes, they can. Foresight, there it is. Trap resistance. Oh, nice. That's really good. But I should give her a helmet back. <clears throat> She's not wearing a blue one, is she? Nope. Okay. So, that's it for today. Uh, aside from that red ogre going nuts on Ada, I think we can be happy with the results. And the amnesia doesn't even factor in here as an injury. <laughs> yeah, I really need to get enchantments on everything we're lacking in that department. But that's pretty pricey as well, so that will take a while. So, yeah. I hope you still enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you think about what I um, talked about with the difficulty. Uh, I would really appreciate some feedback there. And, yeah. I hope you had fun. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would do so. <laughs> to keep me watching play more time. Or whatever else I'm doing. You know what I mean. Yep. It has been a while since I've had one of those strange awkward moments. But, yeah, it was about time, apparently. So, let's just end this. As always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.